Expanding child care and cutting taxes are the highlights of Governor Laura Kelly's budget plan. It was unveiled to lawmakers today. 13's Callie Holthouse was there. Callie, what's the reaction? Melissa, the governor already announced her proposal to cut property, retirement, and sales tax, while Republicans pushed back with a promise to again pursue a flat tax. That's not the only area of disagreement expressed today over where to spend your money. The Kelly administration says its focus is a balanced budget that funds the state's priorities. That includes the governor's push for Medicaid expansion, despite skepticism from the other side of the aisle. In every one of those states, workforce participation dropped, I think on average 10%. So what do you say to those that say we're, we're trying to maintain the workforce, but yet push a policy, and because of that movement to able-bodied, will necessarily reduce our workforce. Budget Director Andrew Profit outlined Governor Kelly's proposal for lawmakers Thursday morning. It includes a pay raise for state employees. Step number one would be to increase their rate of pay to $15 an hour. We feel like that's a good starting point for a, a livable wage in Kansas to, to get going. And really that's recognition uh, for the efforts that they've undertaken over the past two years to stabilize the workforce. GOP legislators questioned how the budget recommendations benefit rural Kansas. There's the $5 million to K-State for the Water Institute the $35 million incremental funding for the water plan fund. We can increase both quantity and quality all across the state, which is gonna help uh, the agricultural economy largely in rural Kansas. Additionally, uh, the Fort Hayes State University, the um, nursing program, growing the nursing workforce out in Northwest Kansas is gonna be critical to the workforce out there. Profit says to support the workforce, the state must also support childcare. Kelly's plan includes more than $56 million to expand availability and support child care workers. He says the last round of funding opened up 5,600 child care slots, momentum they want to build on. The goal is to target towards home-based providers specifically, uh, but the goal is really to defray the cost uh, for the, the providers such that they can continue to to offer child care across the state. A new office of early childhood is aimed at cutting through the red tape. And the goal is really to reduce the burden on child care providers to ensure that folks have a one-stop shop so we're not uh, having a disparate uh, system. The governor's proposal also includes more money for higher education, funding a new agricultural innovation initiative at Kansas State, creating a behavioral health program at Topeka Correctional, replacing Hutchison Correctional Facility, and funding water projects. You can see what else is in the plan at WIBW.com.